Hey, how's it going guys? Hope your day is going well. Today we're gonna to be going over two of my most favorite essential tools to use if you wanna erase anything on Photoshop from a stain on your shirt to dust particles in your photos or even if there's a creepy guy in the way back of your wedding photo that you don't want, we could take him out. There are many tools and techniques to use for erasing things on Photoshop, but the ones I'm gonna show you I found to be really easy and simple to use. The first one is the patch tool where you use this tool to blend in shades, colors, and textures quick and easily just by selecting an area and choosing what to merge it with. This tool is great for medium to large scale merging and erasing, but keep in mind that it doesn't have a lot of flexibility and control, which gets into our next tool. The second one is a stamp tool and it's really similar to the patch, but this one is more more like a fine brush where you can select particular very detailed areas and be more precise with what you want to erase or merge. This tool is a lifesaver and super fun to use. I've gathered a few iconic and fun movie stills that we could use that goes from easiest to erase to hardest that we could challenge ourselves with so let's get to it. Alright guys, so the first film we're going to use is from The Sound of Music. So this one is fairly easy because of where she's located, like how nicely she's cropped inside of that mountain and flower patch. The textures aren't so complex, so we could easily merge whatever her silhouette is and fill it in pretty organically. Okay, so we're just going to drag that image into our Photoshop. So what we want to do is separate that horizon line, right? So we have the field and the mountains. We want to use that stamp tool to easily separate that together so we could fill each individual section with the patch tool. What we want to do is use that stamp tool. So we're going to select it on our left tool tablet and it's going to have that little stamp icon beneath the brush tool. So once we get that, what you want to press is the option key and that will show you what you want to clone, right? So if you hover over that grass area while pressing the option key, you save whatever portion of that circle is inside of that stamp tool. You could duplicate it right away. So we could just try that out really quick. So as you can see, it's cutting through its dress really nicely and we could just kind of fill that in and eyeball it to make it look a little natural. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. So now that we've separated the horizon line, we can easily take the patch tool and start tracing over what we want to highlight around that leftover dress that we want to erase out. We can slowly shift that pattern to whatever we want and as we click out, it slowly disappears. It's pretty much like magic. And sometimes with the patch tool, it may not be exactly clean. It might have a little remnant sense of that feeling of something that's not really refined so we could go back and use that patch tool and select other areas to really nicely blend it in together so now that the bottom part is erased let's finish it off so what we want to do is similar to the bottom half let's use that patch tool and select what we want to erase around her body and for this one, instead of hovering over another section because it is an awkward shape and we might get some of the white snow texture that we don't want, another trick is if you go to edit, fill, press OK, and voila, it magically takes textures and colors around what you've selected and automatically fills it in. And you can kind of tell it's not as refined. So what we could do to make it feel a little bit more organic is take some of that mountain textures, you know, those jagged edges and slants, kind of scatter it throughout where body was. So what we want to do is grab that patch tool and select some of those awkward merging and just highlight those textures around it so it could kind of feel more organic and realistic. So as you can see, we're kind of making up that slanted white jagged edge line, which makes it feel much better. And we're just going to open up the history tab and just see how it looks like before and after. So yeah, that's not too bad. This is level one and let's move on to the next one. So for the next movie still, we're going to use that funny scene from Hangover 2 where one of the main characters gets a facial tattoo like Mike Tyson. So let's test out our stamping and patching abilities and try to make this guy beautiful again. So one thing that I noticed from this tattoo which really helps us in our favor is that you see there's two different sections, right? You have that top portion from that tribal tattoo and then the bottom one and there's that negative space in between that really helps us out. So just as easy as that, we can use that patch tool and we don't really have to separate anything. So so what we want to do is select that patch tool and highlight the bottom portion of that tattoo. And what we want to do is hover and select a nice skin texture that we can use that will kind of organically mesh in well with whatever that patch tool will do its work with. So as you can see, it did a really good job with merging and highlighting it pretty organically. What's kind of awkward is some of those areas where it feels a little too smooth. So we can use that patch tool and select that and bring in those rough textures again that makes the skin feel like skin. So we're gonna slowly inch that 
and yeah it's feeling pretty good let's finish it off with that top portion so what's tricky about this part is what we want to erase is touching his hair right so we want to keep the hair but we want to erase that leftover attack too so this is an, a nice way to bring in that stamp tool again so what's cool about the stamp tool is we could change that size of the point to make it super small and we could work around that hairline so as you can see we're slowly going to erase away the hair touching that tattoo so we could use that patch tool again to just quickly erase everything out we're just going to highlight that so after we cut it out let's grab that patch tool and select around what we want to erase and again we're going to select the skin texture that works for that and bam cool so this one has a little bit more blurriness so again we're going to go back and use that patch tool and just add in those textures because it looks a little too smooth and doesn't feel natural so we're going to keep on doing that so we're going to grab that stamp tool again and correct some of the patchwork done where it mistakenly merged some of that dark hair into the skin tone so we're just going to erase that out and we're just going to clean up a little bit and it looks pretty good let's just continue playing with it and we're just going to do a little bit tweaks really quickly and just make it feel a little more organic and here's a before and after where it looks pretty good right this was the medium difficulty let's finish it off with the last and final one and last but definitely not least the final boss the most difficult on this list is from matrix 2 where neo keanu reeves is stopping all those bullets with his hands it's pretty epic and you know this looks kind of like impossible but with the patch and stamp tool combination we could definitely do this so what we want to do is look into some areas that are probably the easiest to erase out first for example that first bullet on his glasses we could definitely just use that patch tool and just whip it away really easily so we're just going to select over that and just highlight over to the other lens what we want to duplicate so right away we just cut that out really quickly and what we want to do next is start off with this cheek as you can see we're going to use a stamp tool to slowly inch its way over to Neo's cheek because it is a little bit complex and it's going against his contours which makes it a little difficult where the stamp tool can really be more precise with that and then we're just going to grab that patch tool to copy some of the skin textures that we could go in and we're going to work our way down to neo's shirt what's nice about neo's shirt is pure black where we kind of get away with some of the details being missing so we're just going to use the patch tool and just erase around what's surrounding So for his hand, it gets a little complicated because of the wrinkles and the crevices and the negative spaces in between his fingers. But there's a little trick that we could do where we could select the patch tool and you can slowly inch your way around and cheat where the contour is and try to make it as precise as possible. It's all about finding that right location where you can merge it. So the trick is to select something pretty close nearby and it'll slowly merge organically with that line. So as you can see, we're inching a little closer to where we selected and bam, it looks pretty good. And we're just gonna continue to do that. And throughout this process, we're gonna use that history and see a before and after. We're probably around 50% done and it's looking pretty good. We got a lot done. We practically took all of the bullets off of Neo's shirt. So we're just gonna continue that and sit back, relax, and let's get this done.
It gets a little complicated. Behind Neo, there's that painting where the bullets land in between some of the characters. You know, even though the characters aren't really detailed and a bit blurry because of the depth of field, you can still kind of tell what is a character and what's not. So we got to be a little bit careful when selecting the patch and stamp tool and try to make it feel natural and organic as possible. The best thing you could do is just play around with what you selected for the patch tool, what you hover over, and you should be good. And bam, we're done. <laughs> it took a little bit, but I think it was pretty worth it. And here's a before and after with bullets all around Neo and without them. And keep in mind, we did this really quickly. So if you take your time, sure enough, it'll look even more better. And this was the hardest difficulty one that we've chosen and we did it, we pushed through. It took a little bit, but it was worth it. Let me know what you guys think. Alright guys, so that was a patch and stamp tool for racing things no matter how small or large it is away from your photos. Hope you enjoyed this quick tip and that these tools make your life a little bit easier when dealing with unwanted messes in your photos. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. If you want to see more videos like these, please subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. Thanks again and see y'all soon. Peace.